I'm painting a Tyranid warrior in the colors of High Fleet Behemoth and I'm making him look really gross. Check it out. Now I've primed him white and then I'm starting with Bugman's Glow all over the fleshy bits. And I'm using a very old nasty dry brush just to get it quickly into all the crevices without being afraid that I'm damaging all my good brushes. And just get a single layer all over the model and don't worry too much if it's not perfectly covering. It's fine if it's blotchy. It's skin after all. So the Bugman's glow is all over there and as you can see I'm not painting very neatly. I just want to paint fast because if you're painting hundreds of models you don't have time to get very accurate. And you can also see that there's still some white in between in the deeper recesses where I couldn't get. But that's fine too because now we're going to wash all the flesh parts with Karlberg Crimson. And all these deeper lying parts that still have white in there will show up way more red than the upper lying parts that have been painted with Bugman's Glow because the white, uh, the white background underlayer will make the red more saturated and will make it look more red. Let me just give a quick explanation of what I'm doing next because I'm dry brushing but I'm using a damp dry brush and this way you get less of the dusty effect that you would normally get with a dry dry brush. Check it out. So we're starting very lightly with Kislev Flesh and I'm trying to hit just the ridges of the armor but on the chest I'll go a good bit heavier. Using the same wet dry brushing technique I'm now going over the more bony parts with Rock Art Flesh. This is an even more desaturated almost grayish color with a slight hint of red and it will really set these bony parts apart. Then I'll do the armor plating in ashen grey, a very dark grey color that's great as a base for anything that you want to look black later on. Okay, the armor plates are ashen grey and I've also done the handles of the sword and the whip and his hooves. And now I'm going to wash this with Draconov Nightshade. And you might be wondering why I'm washing this with a blue rather than a black. Well that's because I don't want to have this perfectly black. I want it to be more interesting, have more shading and highlighting. And I want it to end up looking very, very, very dark blue. And that's why first shade with Draconov Nightshade. I'm going to do the Bone Sword in the same way that I did my uh, Deathwing Terminator. I'm uh, dry brushing with Ushapti Bone and making sure it gets everywhere. You know, not an actual dry brush, but I'm going to do a base coat while dry brushing. And that will make it look very dusty. And I'll use a little detail brush as I get closer to the hand. I'm leaving the bone sword to dry for a bit and I'm going over the whip with a Screamer Pink. And this is a very dark, very saturated color. And I think it will contrast nicely with the desaturated flesh tones and bone and so on. All right, time for a bit of shading and the bone sword is getting uh, some Agrax Earth Shade all over it. And the whip gets a layer of Draconov Nightshade and this blue will make it look a bit more purple and a bit more bruised as well. I'm waiting for the shades on the weapons to dry so in the meantime I'm going to paint his nails black. And I'm doing this with a bad and black because I want to have the same effect as I had with my Gene Stealer Gods Patriarch. Those absolutely vicious looking talons. Alright, and while giving him this little manicure I also painted his teeth with a bad and black. So back to the sword. And I'm just dry brushing this with some Tyrant Skull. And I'm using this quite liberally because it's still a very yellowy bony color. And I'm going to brighten the highlights later on. And now to make the highlight pop, I'm dry brushing the sword with some Praxiti White. And you've got to be careful with this because this is a pure white. So it will be very bright if you overdo it. Now for the whip, I'm dry brushing with a damp dry brush of Lucius Lilac. And you've got to be very, very careful with this because it's a pretty bright highlight. I just want to give a quick shout out to my patrons. Thank you guys for your support. And if you would like to support me, but you don't want to do so financially, then just hit the like button. That alone would really help me out. All right, the weapons are done. And now it's time for the plates. And I'm going to give this a dry brush of Stormfang, which is a light blue dry brush paint and I'm using my tiny cut to size little dry brush so that I don't hit any of the flesh parts. All right the edges are done with Stormfang and now I'm going over it lightly again but with gray sear. So the armor's got a highlight now with the gray sear and Stormfang and it's time to really blacken it by going over it with a wash of non-oil 
and this is why you need to make sure that you have the highlights quite bright because they're going to get dulled down quite a bit once you go over it with a non-oil just a couple of finishing touches left now and i'm going to do the eyes with Averland sunset this is a dark yellow i think it looks great with this scheme and now to make those talons look even worse I'm going to add a layer of art coat over this and that's the gloss varnish that comes in a pot from Citadel Games Workshop. And that will make them look shiny and kind of like obsidian talons. I was painting the base black and I just couldn't help myself. I saw the sword was not having any blood on it so I'm just going to add a little bit of blood for the blood god with a dry brush and just making fast streaking motions like this. And the Tyranid Warrior is done. I think it looks good, disgusting, the skin, the bone, all of it looks like a real Xenos life form and not so oversaturated as you normally see. Now if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe, like it and you can check out more on my Instagram, my Facebook and of course if you want to support me go to my Patreon and you can pledge over there. Thanks for watching, see you next time.